What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench. Yeah, it's a double two kind of day today. Good day today. And I have been in a total reorganization just mode. So I'm reorganizing everything in the shop. I'm looking for solutions for magazine storage, tool storage, gun storage, all those good things. And I'm looking online and holy cow is this stuff expensive there's got to be something economical and easy for ar storage right wrong there is nothing economical but i don't know about you guys but i'd rather be spending my money on ammo and more guns than on storage what is this this is a prototype well half of a prototype of a project that i've been working on as a ar mounting solution I'm sure you've seen them online, like these. Anywhere from $13 to $30 for one. One unit, one AR. Now, granted, most of you probably just have one AR. If you only have one AR, you need more than one. Now, I was thinking there's got to be an easier, cheaper way to do this. So I went to the local big box home store and I just grabbed me some uh, one by three pine for a four foot section. I think it was four dollars. And this is what I'm thinking. We have our piece right like this that's going to sit in the magwell just like all of these other ones that you just saw. Now on top of that, we're gonna have another piece, smaller piece, it's gonna sit right about here. We'll probably even angle it to match the angle of the mag, or the mag well. And that is gonna allow us a little bit of bump out so that when we go to mount this on the wall, you know, there's a little bit of profile on this side. Sometimes you'll have mounting screws for your optics, uh, attachments, whatever. So we need to have that extra inch bump out just so we have clearance and it fits up against the wall smooth. And really, that's it. So today's video, we're making these. I'm gonna make one. I've got it down pretty much to the size that we need. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make just using one by three pine. Now, I know you're saying, Oh, so I'm going to put pine on my wall. Dude, you can paint this, you can stain this. You could even go get a better quality 1x3 wood. You could get oak, you could get um, cherry, you can get whatever you want and use the same principle. And I promise you that per linear foot, the majority of wood that you're going to use is going to be way cheaper than if you were to buy one of those plastic ones. Will this hold up in time? I don't know. We're gonna find out, I guess, over time. We're not gonna know when we do it, but we'll know how it works. So, here we go. So the first thing that you'll realize when you grab your one by three is if you try to put it in here, it doesn't fit. You can see that there is a very little bit that you're gonna need to trim off of the edge of this. It's no more than a quarter inch. I think a quarter inch is your max. If you have a rip saw, rip a quarter inch off of this, run it through, take your one by three down a quarter of an inch and you're gonna be good. You're gonna be able to fit that in there and then from there on it's cake. It's no problem at all. We're gonna have our piece that goes in, right? So that piece, in order to give you ample room to attach to the bottom, you wanna have it at five inches. And then for our bottom piece, you're only gonna need two and a half inches. So that means for each holder, five inches for this, two and a half for the other. Let's round up and call it eight inches per AR. Now, I'm no mathematician. Five dollars 
we can make mounts for six ARs. I would consider that on the economical end. Here we go. Let's start going. We're going to trim these to five inches and three inches respectively, and then we're going to start trimming them down. So now we have our two pieces. We have our five inch piece of one by three trimmed on this end, long ways, a quarter inch. And then we have our three inch piece of one by three trimmed to a quarter inch as well, or a quarter inch trimmed off. What we're gonna do is really, we're just gonna get these two guys, put them together. And then this is gonna be our, our this is it. This is it, guys. And this is gonna slide into the magazine and it's gonna sit like so. So here's where it gets a little tricky, right? So we want this angle of our magazine well cut on our piece that's gonna be in the back here. So when this thing sits like so in here, we want that angle to match up. That's the idea. What's the angle of the magazine well? Great question. Uh, in order to get this, you're gonna need to need the measure. No, I'm just kidding. So the angle that you're gonna wanna set your miter saw up to is 10 degrees. 10 degrees is gonna be your perfect angle cut for this to sit perfectly. So all you're gonna have to do now, get those little shorty pieces and cut a 10 degree angle on them and you will be good to right. go. So this is what we're looking for. It's gonna sit like so in there. Make sure that it's seated all the way to the bottom or that it's bottoming out, should be hitting up against the bolt carrier. And then you're gonna have your mag piece, your block that sits like so. Here's what you may have to do. If you cut this to three inches like I told you, you're gonna have a little bit of room here at the bottom. It's easy for you to see if I do it this way. And you can see here that we have a little bit of a lip right here. So all you're gonna do, just set it up like it normally would, grab yourself a Sharpie, hit that line, and then just give it a trim right there. And then what I'll do, I'll fit it, I'll glue it, I'll fit it, and then I'll sand this on the belt sander just to get it nice and smooth at the bottom. Easy fix, just in case you overmeasure, but that's why we overmeasure. So we have room to get a really, really good fit. So I'm gonna trim these up and then it's uh, gluing time. Well, these are done. The glue has dried. Epoxy, we actually used epoxy. It dried for a good five hours. It was a five minute set. Um, these are really good to go. We sanded them, just, you know, smoothed over the edges with just some uh, 150 grit sandpaper. Everything looks great. Everything looks nice. At this point, how far you go with this is up to you. If you want to paint these, you can do that. If you want to stain them, uh, you could do that as well. I won't be able to stain these since I used an epoxy. That stain will not absorb on the seams, so it'll look a little blotchy, but I could easily spray paint this, no problem. The last thing I'm gonna leave you with is think about how you're going to mount this. Remember, if this is our wall, it's going to get mounted this way. Your fasteners are gonna go through the front end here. So depending on where you're doing, if you're going straight into two by four, remember, you're most likely going to have to do two screws just to keep it from turning, right? So have those two screws, you know, positioned accordingly so that this the unit doesn't turn. If you're going to be going into a wooden wall or uh, plywood or whatever, you can just put them anywhere that you want and you'll be fine. And guys, it was really this simple. I'm pretty sure that most of you have the sandpaper and the wood glue and all that other stuff. Hell, you may even have one by three. If you don't have one by three, you could always use a one by four, one by six, and then you could just rip it down to 
two and five sixteenths is where we're at with this. And you can do that as well. So I only used one by three because it was less for me to rip, but you could just easily rip down uh, whatever one by stock that you have that will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount one of these, give you guys a shot as to how that looks when it's up on the wall. So there you go. Looks good, it performs its function, it was super cheap, you made it yourself, and you probably could have done another seven of these, no problem, and it really took, what, a couple hours, including the time for the glue to dry. So you could totally do it yourself and save a ton of cash. Until next time, make sure that you're practicing safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded. God bless America, G2 out.